Today, we will briefly explain one of our ventilators. A tutorial on maintenance and replacement of a valve plate of this 5-9 ventilator. First of all, let's prepare the tools, a number 15 wrench, then connect a size 3 and a size 4 hexagon wrench. Well, because we are specialized tools, there is a single L type on the market. No, 3, no, 4 hexagon wrench was can be used. First of all, our first step, a, uh, for our 5, 9 models, our first step is to loosen the four screws on the bottom plate, remove the bottom plate first. Now that the floor of our speech has been removed, then we, the second step is to unscrew our trachea first. Then this is the no, 15 wrench. Wrench number 15, put counterclockwise first. Historically, put the nut. Juan Song. In the second step, we're just going to unscrew this windpipe. It really is. All three should be loosened. When this pipe was removed, if some pipes are difficult to pull out, there is a downward and gently downward pressure, and then there is a gap here, we can put a straight screwdriver in it. Then it's easy to pry. If some trachea like these is difficult to get, we can gently press down this trachea. And then there's a crack here, then stick it in and tilt it word by word. You can take it off. Then if we take the third step, let's take off the raft cover first. If this screw is used, we use this small hexagon with H3. At this time, we will take off this gasket. Then here we can see that this is our whole raft. Then let's dismantle the raft. We just take these four screws off again. It's also an H3 screwdriver. That supported a disassembly and disassembly of our whole raft, but it was over. Then at this time, or in the next step, we can, or carry out a maintenance operation on this raft. That's normal. After we use it in seawater, that's because our air is compressed, it will produce a crystal of salt. At this time, we take out the whole petal, then rinse it with clear water, then blow dry all the moisture on the surface with up paper towels or air guns. What about after blowing dry? Then we should check one of our sealing rings first. There is a white sealing ring here. Check whether, uh, it is assembled. Okay, the other one is on our side. There is a black one under the valve plate. We also need to check the black sealing ring to keep it on top. Otherwise, the air tightness will leak. If this piece is concerned, if we detect that our valve plate is, uh, relatively broken or a lot of deformation. At this time, we can also carry out a raft replacement operation. That's basically similar to our maintenance. At this time, all we need to do is get a new valve assembly, then just reinstall it. The whole process, 
then after our cleaning and cleaning and, er, drying and draining of water. Then let's start installing this valve plate. When assembling, this side of this square groove is facing up, this side of this circle is facing down, then this, this screw. Then there is one on each side, then a screw on this side is installed inward. Good position, and then, this long screw. Go through this hole and tighten it. 